Today, I just wanted to think outside the box and share a low budget trick to help you fortify your home. The average house simply will not stand up to gunfire. And I like to keep it in mind that the average prepper or survivalist is not a millionaire who can afford steel plates or Kevlar curtains for the insides of all of their walls to help fortify their homes. But this tip you probably can afford. First of all, let me just point out that I am aware that there is no such thing as literal bulletproofing. Just like how a bulletproof vest isn't actually bulletproof, it resists bullets. So basically what you're doing is making your home bullet resistant. I only say bulletproof because it's the common term that is widely used when discussing the deflecting of bullets. The idea I'm presenting is relatively simple to do and won't draw attention to your home either. That is, your home won't look so drastically different as to draw attention. In fact, if your neighbors see you making the modifications, they probably won't even think twice about it. They're not likely to even know what it is you're doing. Are you ready for this? Window boxes and planters. And before you think I'm crazy, hear me out. Haven't you ever noticed those gigantic planters they always have with flower arrangements on military bases and in front of government buildings? Did you think they have those there because they just look nice? Think about this. If you were to build a standard looking window box that ran from the ground on the first level of your home all the way to the windowsill, you could create an effective home defense barrier under every window on the first floor of your home without anyone realizing that it was a barrier. In fact, it would be aesthetically pleasing, possibly even making your home look nicer. Whether you use wood or brick to build your box is up to you. Neither will stop a bullet effectively, so choose what looks best on your home. Fill the boxes with sand, not dirt. Sand is much more effective at resisting bullets. Typically, seven inches of sand will shatter a bullet even from a high caliber rifle. But you would need more than three times the depth of dirt to have the same effect, so don't use dirt. I would build the boxes so they have an interior thickness of between 14 to 21 inches, and that would be two to three times the depth needed to effectively stop a bullet. About every seven inches inside the box, place a sheet of thin steel, 1 16th will do, to help slow down the sand leakage from multiple concentrated shots. For added protection, if it's in your budget, against the back part of the box facing the house, you can place steel sheets as a final barrier. If you can't get a thick sheet of steel for the back end of the box facing the house, layering thin sheets will work just as well. Often layering is more effective. Near the top of your window box, place a thin layer of plastic so that your sand will stay dry. Then fill up the last couple of inches with your favorite decorative flowers and no one will be the wiser. If you have the yard space, I would also place large planters in strategic positions around the house that were built in the same way. To the naked eye, they just look like decoration, but they can provide satisfactory defense for your home. Now you have a nice little defense position under every window and around your perimeter. And since the barrier is actually on the outside of your house, you don't have to worry about excess weight bearing on your floors. And if you have any questions about the effectiveness of this, build one at a shooting range and see for yourself. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have anything to add, please feel free to post it in the comment section down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope that you did. Share it if you can and subscribe if you are new. Check out some of the other videos. You may find something helpful to you. So like it always says, stay frosty folks, and thanks for watching.